Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video, I'm going to show you my 2022 favorite drugstore beauty products. Today's video is in collaboration with my friends, Natalie, the beauty diva, Julia's B Beauty, and Clara. Beauty is Ageless 55. We collabed last week showing you our high-end luxury products, and this week we are showing you our drugstore products. I'd like to thank you all that came on over from their channels. I big warm welcome to all of you. And for those of you that are my subscribers and you went over and paid a visit to my friends, subscribe to their channels. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Natalie, for inviting me to join you and the other gals for this collaboration. It has been a true honor to join you lovely ladies. Those of you that didn't watch last week's video, I will leave it listed down below for you. Natalie, the beauty diva, has been a friend for a very long time, as well as Clara and Julia I met recently. If you're not familiar with, with any of them or some of them, they have amazing channels, lots of variety, high-end drugstore, hauls, mystery boxes, you name it, and they have it. I'm not going to talk too much about them because I'd really like for you to head on over and visit them. Please make sure to let them know I sent you. All right, drugstore products. Everything that I'm going to be showing you, I am wearing today, or well, just about everything because I didn't use two palettes on my eyes. I'm really excited because I know that drugstore products are something that we all look for. We don't always want to spend money on our on on high-end products or luxury products. Uh, for those of you that know me and know that I wear wigs, I am, and you're probably curious to what I'm wearing, I'm wearing Stella by Ellen Villa in the color Rosewood Brown Rooted or Rosewood Brown Shaded. The first product that I want to talk to you about is not necessarily a product that you go out to the drugstore to buy, but I have to mention it because it's in the drugstore price, and that is my Weight Watchers app. I pay I pay about $14, $15 a month. I have lost 107 pounds on Weight Watchers. I started in August of 2021. I have gone from 250 pounds to 140 pounds, and I am very excited to now be wearing about a size 6 or an 8 instead of the a size 20 that I was wearing. But it's not so much about the size, it's more about how I feel. I was going to physical therapy. I, had, I couldn't walk very much. My knees were swollen. I thought I was going to have knee, knee replacement surgery. And the doctor suggested that I lose some weight and see if we could take it from there. I now walk about five miles a day, not all in one stretch, but I do it periodically throughout the day. And I feel so much better physically. And I think that's what it's all about. It's not about the number on the scale. It's not about the size that we wear. It's about how we feel. And I, I think that is what we all need to keep in mind. You know, the size, the age, all of that, that's just a number. And the number on the scale, that's just data. We, we want to make sure that we feel better. Uh, better about ourselves, good about ourselves, but that we want to feel healthy and follow uh, an eating regimen that really helps us to, to feel better, especially for those of us that are over 60. For those of you that are new to my channel, I am 65. I think I heard about this foundation from Natalie. She talked about it a while back. I purchased it because every time she mentioned something, I just have to go out and buy it. And this is by L'Oreal. I wrote the name down because I can't see that print without my glasses. Uh, this is the True Match Nude. It has hyaluronic acid. This is a tinted serum. But as you can see, it does a really nice job. I would say this is a light to a medium coverage, depending on how much you build it up. I think it wears beautifully throughout the day. If you're not going to have full coverage, you're but you are going to have enough coverage if you are like me and have high, some hyperpigmentation, if you have any dark spots, I think it does a pretty good job in evening out my skin tone and it has good ingredients. Just like the, the L'Oreal foundation that you can get at Ulta, you could get at your local drugstore, the same applies to these 
um, blushes. These are by CoverGirl. These are the Clean Fresh that, as I mentioned, it's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing it today. It, this is a cream formula. You just need a tiny little bit. A little goes a long way. That's a uh, kind of like a pink one. And this one, I'll leave the colors listed down below because I forgot to write them down. This one is the one I'm wearing right now. It's a little bit deeper. It goes on beautifully and it lasts. And I think that's, I think that what most of us are looking for, what looks pretty, what, what lasts long, what doesn't settle into our fine lines and wrinkles for bronzer. Actually, I, I've only been using one bronzer and that has been the butter bronzer. And you know what I really love about it? When these first were launched, the color was very, very light. I, I couldn't get it to, to work for me because they, it was just so light. But then they launched this one, which is a, a pretty dark one. Uh, for my long-lasting lipstick, my top favorite that I use over and over again is the Maybelline, what is this called? This is the Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink, and mine is in the color Witty. I love this. It will last all day. It dries down and it looks beautiful. And I love this color. I, I love mauves. So here's the issue. I'm 65. What happens with that, with those liquid lipsticks, they dry up and then my lips look like dried up prunes. So what I do is over it, I use the lifter gloss also from Maybelline. Mine is in the color stone. Once the liquid lipstick dries, then I go over it with the gloss. That's no, that's not what I'm wearing right now. And this is just the gloss. It does a little bit of lifting, a little bit of plumping. It doesn't sting. It goes on really, really nice. And this color I like because I could wear it by itself and it looks really pretty. Or I could use it to wear it over my liquid lipsticks. The next two lipsticks that I have for you, actually Clara, who is in our collaboration today, she collaborated with this brand. This is Gourmet Girls. And I and when she collaborated with them, she helped with the names, she helped with the colors. I went and I purchased all the colors available. I think they were six or seven colors. Clara has a video, and I will leave it linked down below, where Clara shows all of the lipstick colors. So be sure to check them out. These you cannot get at the drugstore, but they are drugstore price. If I remember correctly, they're right around $12 or $14. This is what I'm wearing. I have a very difficult time finding a nude lipstick because of my skin tone. They, a, a, a regular nude, what someone fairer wears on as a nude lipstick, on me it almost looks white. So, and I don't, you know, if I was living in the 60s, maybe, but not right now. So, Clara, when she collaborated, she came up with this color, and I love it. This is the one that I'm wearing. Now, if you have a fair skin tone, it's going to, it may appear brown. Cafecito is uh, what, what we call a, a coffee. Um, a small espresso coffee is a cafecito. So we do have a brown color here. So what I do with this, I apply it and then I apply some gloss over it. These are not drying. They last like any other of your lipsticks may last. They don't go into your fine lines or anything like that. I mean, it's not going to last all day because they aren't long wearing lipsticks, but I think they are smooth and they're creamy and they are an excellent, excellent price. So I, when I purchased them all, the colors that were maybe too pink for me or too light for me or just colors that I knew that wouldn't go with my skin tone, I gave to my girls. And the two that I gave them each two, and I kept two for myself. One of them was Cafecito. This one is called Vino, which means wine. And this is usually the color that I wear with my gray wigs. 
it is a red with a blue undertone so it it just looks like wine like a burgundy wine i think it is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous color i love these lipsticks and i i was so excited for clara when she did her collaboration with the brand you know when we're over a certain age and we don't have a million subscribers some brands don't want to collaborate don't want really to collaborate with us so when one of us in the mature community is able to do a collaboration we just cheer each other on so again congratulations clara for your collaboration with gourmet girls all right i left my palettes for last i really wanted to show you palettes that i thought worked so well now these palettes like the the lipsticks i just showed you you have to purchase online but i think they are worth it these are by alter ego these are 17 dollars. now these are dupes uh, mainly natasha denona so the one i'm wearing today is shadow kiss and i'm going to hold it next to the glam palette because it it's the same color it's the same color story rather this is the glam palette by natasha denona this is 69 dollars. this is by alter ego and it's 17 dollars. so i think that you'll be able to see that even though the color placements are not in the same place they are the same the same color story today i have one eye done with the glam palette and i have the other eye done with the shadow kiss palette because i wanted you to see that you really could achieve the same exact look so why is one $17 and the other one $69? Well, this is $69 because it's Natasha Denona. It may be a little bit higher, uh, better, has more pigmentation to it. It won't have as much fallout, even though I don't think the Shadow Kiss has hardly any fallout. I think that, I think the fallout is minimal with Shadow Kiss. And if there's a little bit of fallout, you could take your Cetaphil uh, makeup wipes and just clean it off when you're finished. But it really is minimal. They also, they blend well and may, perhaps they don't blend as well as the Natasha Denona. That, therefore, that's why we have a difference of, I don't know, $50 or $52. So we want, to, but I think that they are worth every penny. I have most of the Alter Ego palettes because they work so well and you have minimal fallout they blend well they don't look muddy and as you can tell you're going to have the same look and alter ego has great customer service fast shipping and they're good quality products the other one that i have is also by alter ego this is harmony this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona retro palette, which I have here. So here is the color story on the Harmony palette. If you like more of more pinks, more mauves, more burgundy colors, exactly the same as we have on the retro palette. You're going to have the same exact color story. So here is the Natasha Denona retro palette at $69. And here is the Alter Ego Harmony palette for $17. So you see you have the same color story. It's really worth it to head on over to the Alter Ego website and check out their different palettes. And you could check on YouTube if you see any other palettes, what they're a do. And the last product that I want to show you, I think I said in my, uh, in, in my high-end video, that I, I'm only using the Fiera concealer. However, there is a concealer. It's more of a brightener that I really like. I've been using it for years. I first heard about it probably five years ago from Emily Noel, and that is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I think this does a beautiful job. You get it at the drugstore. There are, there's a neutralizer, there's a brightener, there's a more nude color. You have different colors depending on what you want it for. Goes on really nice. 
doesn't uh, um, go into your fine lines or wrinkles. And while it's not a high coverage, I think it does a good job, especially if you mix and match them. So you could use a little bit more brightener on the bottom, or you could have use it more of a concealer, perhaps in another color, more that's nearer to your skin tone or a little bit lighter. Love of Love H Rewind. Been using it for five years, and I probably will continue using it. Well, I know I will. Thank you, everyone. If you have any products from the drugstore or that are drugstore price, even though you may get them online, please leave, leave them listed down below in the comments. I'm sure other viewers would like to see what is your favorite. Maybe you have some mascara that you like. Maybe you have that I didn't show. Maybe you like, uh, you have another, maybe you have a full coverage foundation or anything at all that you think, oh, uh, Marlene needs to try this. Please leave it down in the comments. Again, please visit Julia and Clara and Natalie over at their channels. The links to their videos will be listed down below in the description box. Tell them I say hi. Tell them I sent you. And I hope to see you there because that's where I'm headed right now. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.